echte nerds staan niet alleen op met innovatie, ze gaan er ook mee naar bed. En daarover weet onze volgende SAS-tak spreken alles, want hij is de founder van slaaprobot Somnox. He's going to present in English, so please give a round of applause for Julian Jachtenberg. Thank you. Let's see if the slides come up. Here we go. Everyone got their pajamas on because we're going to sleep. We are going to bed with a robot. And I hope to convince you in my following talk why you will be sleeping with a robot. But if I'm talking about this, you probably think something like this. A little bit of WD-40 to get it uh, all smooth, you know. But spoiler alert, I am not creating sex robots. It's not what I do. I'm talking here about a very serious issue. We are in a global sleep crisis, with one out of five people suffering from sleep deprivation. One out of five people. And maybe you notice, but if you are 90 years old, you sleep a third of your life, it sums up to 30 years spending asleep. And sleep is still a bit mysterious to us, what is actually happening. We know it is essential, I mean, if we do not sleep, you, you can have a headache or you'll feel, start to feel grumpy, but if you chronically sleep very badly, it has serious health issues. And you see it all over the news lately, right? And then we have these chemicals, medication that can help us fall asleep, but that also brings us addiction and unwanted side effects. It's a serious problem. As we see, sleep is essential to recover body and mind. And if you do not do so, you can suffer from health issues such as heart disease and even depression. So it's not only health issues that come up. Even economically speaking, we find that the more people sleep average uh, in a night, also the economical impact is there. As you can see, for example, Netherlands is doing quite well. We spend seven and a half hours of sleep, but the GDP per person is also quite high, and there's really this correlation going on. But a little bit more education about sleep, because most of us think it's like a switch. You are asleep or you are awake. But sleep is way more than just being asleep. There's actually five stages of sleep, and they're all just as essential to recover your body and mind. When I was a little kid, I always wanted to be this guy. Gary Gerlus and in Dutch it's Willy Wortel. Well, when I was granted access to the University of Technology, which I was super happy to be, my own mother and other friends and family were suffering from insomnia. So badly that they really couldn't live a productive life. They, they lost friends, they lost, they lost their jobs. It's, 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 they had, it had super duper impact on their lives. And the only thing they had was this medication. And it helped them get to sleep, but it didn't give them the quality time of sleep to recover. So I wanted to do something. I wanted to invent something with the technology of tomorrow to bring my friends and family, but most of all, maybe even more people, better sleep in a natural way. So I headed to the drawing board and started sketching robotics. Because I am a robotics engineer, and during my time in the Robotics Institute on the University of Technology, I wanted to see how robotics could improve the night's rest of my mother. So when you think of robots, you probably think of these guys, right? Humanoid, metal, dangerous beings that, that take our jobs and that are dangerous, you know, the, the, the Terminator, the Transformers. Well, I think robots are way more than that, and they are. But my particular interest is in that of soft robotics. And soft robotics are robots made of soft tissue that you can actually touch. So where robots were dangerous and harmful in the beginning, you can now actually cuddle them, you can interact with them. And imagine the breakthrough in the healthcare industry by applying this technology. So we started a startup with the name Somnox. And it's a startup based in Delft, in the accelerator of Yes Delft, where we uh, develop soft robotic companions for personal well-being with the same emotional status as a pet. And you might think the same emotional status as a pet? Well, in our design, the requirement is that if you throw a product of ours in a fire, 
It should be just as brutal as throwing a cat in the fire. And why? Because I think products need to have emotional value. You need to have a relationship with them. And that is of added value in healthcare and in our very first product, which is the sleep robot. It's a device that you cuddle during the night and that will help you fall asleep, fall asleep faster, sleep longer, and wake up energized. But how does it do this? Well, it uses guided breathing exercises, sounds, and affection to bring you sleep more naturally. So if you hold it during the night, there is this physical sensation of the falling and rising of the breath. And we found in our studies that by feeling this breathing rhythm, you will subconsciously adjust your breathing rhythm accordingly, making it easy to reduce stress and increase stimulation. Next to that, we have audio. So the sounds of audio books, podcasts, heartbeats, or the voice of Brad Pitt, whatever you want, that will turn off the moment you fall asleep because our robot is continuously monitoring your sleep cycle. We also have an app where you can set your personal preferences during the night so that you are assured of a tailored approach of solving sleep because everyone has their own preferences. We spent over three years in research and development creating all sorts of prototypes. And the process looked like this. We invited test sleepers that were having a bad time falling asleep. They got our robot, they slept for it with a week, and then they gave us feedback in return. And in that same week, we could already start 3D printing a new part to test a new thing. And as just was mentioned, you need to fail. And we did thousands of times. But because we have this very, very quick iteration process, we can get to customer value in a very, very fast, rapid pace. So this day is about data. And I wanted to show you the effectiveness of our device in data. So this is of one participant that has been sleeping with our robot for a week. And we took the average data uh, for sleeping with a robot and sleeping without our robot. And if we look above, we see the, the, the total sleep time, which was seven and a half before, and with the robot, it was almost nine hours. But the cool thing is that the time it took to fall asleep on average was 28 minutes, whereas with the robot, it was only eight minutes. But it also looked like the time spanned awake. It was 30 minutes in the beginning, and it was reduced to eight minutes on average. And as I was just talking before, sleep isn't just one state. You need to cycle through the different stages. So on the left side, we see the night's rest without our robot of this particular participant. And we found that she was going through three times the cycles of light and deep sleep. But with the robot, it was almost five times, which is essential to recover body and mind. So we, where are we heading? Because this is just static data. It isn't doing anything apart from giving us insights. I mean, our iPhone and our Fitbit can do this as well. What we are heading towards as a company, and where I think analytics can be of value to, to bad sleepers, is in this feedback loop. So our robot is collecting data. In our case, it can sense your breathing rate, it can sense movement, and it can translate this data into predicting whether you are awake or asleep. And based upon that, it will offer you a feature that is tailored to your needs at the right moment of time in your sleep cycle. So it's continuously monitoring, analyzing, processing, and doing something to get the best possible sleep program. We are looking currently into what kind of applications of AI we can put in our device. And next year, when we have the hardware device, we want to do software updates so we can predict if you will be awake or if you will be having a nightmare so that the robot can help you and even give you the right feature at that moment of time to prevent you experiencing that nightmare or become awake and, and get that good night's rest. So it's this predictive behavior that AI can provide us. But we are also talking to Google and Amazon on looking how to integrate voice. I mean, it's either creepy, but also kind of cool if you, we could talk to your sleep companion and say, hey, can you play me that favorite song? Or how was your day? Can you help me? But of course, the bathroom is a very private place, right? You don't want all kinds of sensors and things measuring stuff. I mean, private things happen in the bathroom. So you need to be very, very secure with the data that you have. 
I mean with GDPR, it was named several times, but also with our device coming close to medical claims, you need to make sure you have a secure and scalable data architecture that is key for growth. So we measure a lot of things, and within our company, I would say we are data-driven, but I prefer to name it data-informed, because I always use my gut feeling to make decisions. But there is one metric within our company that is essential to measure our success. And this is still a vision, but I would like to show it to you, because on our website, we are planning to say how many people we have helped that night. So we measure the daily active users, the nightly active sleepers, to see what kind of social impact we have that captures the value for the consumer and for us as a company. So it all started out with four engineers. This was an academic project, and I am one of the four founders that are sitting here in front of the bed. And now over two years, we have gathered marketeers, business developers that all have the same mission to help bring the world better sleep naturally. It's really cool. And we recently also acquired Philip Hess, founder of the, the Storm Umbrella, uh, who is now helping us bring this invention to the market. And we found our partner Alping, a Dutch company that is creating sustainable mattresses in a very, very good way to help us co-design the product and ensure a quality product that we will be launching at the end of this year. But it all started out as an academic project with me wanting to help my mother. And during this time in the university, there was major media coverage because we got covered in all the big magazines. There was Japan, China, Ru uh, Russia, all talking about us. And we even have a Facebook video that has been uh, viewed for over 12 million times. And all, all sorts of people started reaching out to us saying, I'm addicted to these chemicals. Can I please have this friendly, cuddly robot? It seems so much more attractive for me as a solution. We went to the CES with Prince Constantin, which is one of the biggest consumer electronics shows. And over these two years of research, and, 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 and development. We have gathered a community of people wanting to help us to co-create the device, and we turned that community also to, into our funding, through crowdfunding. And we raised the funds to actually start producing our sleep roll, and I'm very, prep very happy to announce that at the end of this year, in October, our uh, sleep roll will be globally available. So this is what the timeline looks right now. We just had our Kickstarter, and the first molds are being developed. And believe me, as an inventor, and being busy with prototypes all the time, I was quite kind of emotional to see this picture and see this product become a reality to potentially help all these people, these people in need. So my talk is almost over, and I hope that I have given you some insight in the importance of sleep but also that hopefully you will be sleeping with a robot next year. So for now, I would like to ask to get out your phones. You can do now. And if you want to win a sleep robot yourself, you can go to sumlux.nl slash share and tell me what you think of the robot, and if you are willing to go to bed with a robot, and maybe you will have a chance to win one. If you want to pre-order one, you can do so today, or if you want to bring better sleep in your organization, please contact us, because only by collaborating we can bring better sleep to the world. Thank you so much, and sweet dreams.